the, the big question mark, what's the meaning of this whole thing? What's the meaning of life? The Kuban. <laughs> Putting my name on it makes it harder to answer. <laughs> it's just a diary entry, like we it's said. True. It's, it's, it's true. true. And you will get a different answer tomorrow. Let's yeah. see. What's the meaning of life today? Late, and later today. Uh, it could be, so for people who don't know, uh, we were maybe thinking of maybe meeting in Austin, have some barbecue, and now we're in the middle of nowhere in West, in beautiful West Texas, and uh, we. This is basically a glorified delivery of barbecue, to uh, of my favorite barbecue, maybe one of your top favorite barbecues, to uh, one of my favorite humans. So we get to eat some barbecue today. Maybe that's the meaning. Do you have something bigger than barbecue? Barbecue's pretty big. <laughs> Barbecue's pretty big. Now, Where's your love for barbecue come from, by the way? Do you, is this... Well, what, I, was, I was a vegan for 20-something years. And once I found my way back into meeting, eating meat, I think barbecue is my favorite of, uh, of any of the things that I didn't eat for so long. I have to ask you, I almost forgot. So there's an SNL skit with Will Ferrell that he wrote about uh, Don't Fear the Reaper, uh, where uh, it's Bruce Dickinson is the producer. I always think about you when I see that skit. I don't know why. People should definitely watch it. And he demands more cowbell into the mix. And, uh, and the, the whole band, this is how I imagine people interact with you. The whole band is really impressed. Like, we get to work with the great Bruce Dickinson. And then it's played by Christopher Walken. And he says, like, fellas, fellas, I, uh, I put on my pants one leg at a time, just like the rest of you. But once my pants are on, I make gold records. <laughs> And I just, <laughs> and then he, and then the whole skit continues, and he wants to add more and more cowbell. And Will Ferrell said he wrote that skit because he always heard the song "Don't Fear the Reaper," and there's a distant cowbell, it's very light in the mix. And he's like, I wonder what that the story of that cowbell is. Like, if we just look at that one layer, who's that guy that was in there? Uh, so, is that basically exactly how your life is? Is uh, Bruce Dickinson from the cowbell? I don't know if you've seen that skit. Uh, I don't think it's like that. <laughs> it's not? Okay. All right. I'm just going to pretend then. Rick, this is a huge honor that you sit with me. I mean, um, what can I say about how incredible of a human you are? You truly are out of this world. And thank you so much for talking today. I'm a great fan. I'm so uh, happy that you agreed to do this with me. <laughs>